Hello everyone! Welcome back to our channel. Today, we'll share you a sample U.S. citizenship interview from a real applicant. The immigration officer asked her many questions about the applicant's personal information and her background. Besides, he asked her small talk and word definitions when he reviewed her N-400 application. Please practice this interview much as you can. We think if you get well prepared and have confidence in this interview, you will pass your actual interview easily. Good morning. I'm here for my U.S. citizenship test. Hello. Show me your ID and the USCIS notice. Here you go. Let's see. Your appointment is at 1015. Okay, please enter inside the building and proceed to the screening checkpoint. Thank you. Please remove all your items, take your jacket and shoes off and put them into a plastic bin. Walk through the metal detector, please. The citizenship interview will be on the second floor. Good luck to you. Thank you, sir. Good morning. I'm here for my U.S. citizenship test. Good morning. Can I have your appointment letter? Sure. Here you go. Thank you. Please give me a few minutes. Sure. Please take your time. All right, your room will be at door six. Please take a seat on aisle six and wait for your turn. Thank you. P12, Patricia. Good morning. That's me. I'm Rome. I'll be conducting your citizenship test today. How are you doing so far? I'm doing well. Thank you for asking. How are you today? I'm good. Thank you. Please follow me. Of course. How are things going? They are doing well. Thank you. How is traffic this morning? Traffic was so busy this morning. I left home when everyone was going to work. So, you know there was a lot of traffic on the road. What time did you get here? I got here around 9 o'clock. Then I waited at the parking lot for an hour. All right. You can put your belongings down, but please remain standing. I'll need you to take the oath before the interview. Please raise your right hand.
Do you promise to tell the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth, so help you God? Yes, I do. You can have a seat. Thank you. Do you know what you just promised? Yes, I promised to tell the truth during the interview. Great. Please show me your state-issued ID, your permanent resident card, the appointment notice, and your passport. Here you go. Did anyone come here with you? No, I came here by myself. Why do you want to become a U.S. citizen? Because I believe in the form of government and want to vote. Good. Have you been studying hard for the interview? Uh yes, I really want to be an American citizen. All right. I'm going to take your photo and capture your fingerprints today. It won't take long. Can you move a little closer and look at the camera in front of you? Perfect. Please place your left index finger on the scanner. Make sure you place it in the middle of the scanner. Let me check. It's perfect. All right, please switch to your right index. Again, make sure your finger is in the middle of the scanner. Perfect. You can take your finger off. Thank you. Do you feel well prepared for your test today? Yes, I do. If you become a U.S. citizen, where do you want to live? I want to live in the U.S. I want to work and live with my family here. Do you have any questions before we start? Yes, I do. My number of trips abroad was not correct. I forgot to fill out a trip to Mexico in the last five years. Can you update this for me? Yes, I'll update it later when we review your Form N-400. Thank you. Okay, we will start the interview with the civics test first. Okay. What is the name of the Speaker of the House of Representatives now? Mike Johnson. What is the rule of law? Everyone must follow the law. What did the Emancipation Proclamation do? Freed the slaves. Who did the United States fight in World War II? Japan, Germany, and Italy. In what month do we vote for president? November. Who is the father of our country? George Washington. Awesome. You passed the civics test. We'll be moving on to the reading and writing test. 
Can you press the power button on the tablet? Thank you. Can you read out loud the sentence on the tablet? Who has the right to vote? I will read a sentence for you. I need you to write it down on the tablet with a stylus, okay? Yes. Citizens have the right to vote. Citizens have the right to vote. Great. You passed the reading and writing test. Thank you, officer. Your first name is Patricia? Yes, my first name is Patricia. Is 14 your middle name? No, it is my last name. What is your legal full name? My legal full name is Patricia Fortin. Have you ever changed your name? No, I haven't used any other names. Have you had any other names in your country? No, officer. You want to change your name to Piper 14? No, I changed my mind. Now I want to keep my current name. Okay, when did you get your green card? I got my green card on January 3rd, 2017. You became a permanent resident through your husband's brother? Yes. What is your social security number? 974-45-3528. What is your date of birth? My date of birth is May 27th, 1988. Are you Hispanic or Latino? I am Hispanic. What is your country of birth? My country of birth is Canada. You are a citizen of Canada, is that correct? Yes, that's correct. What's your phone number? 727-457-1247. Do you have any individual disabilities that require accommodation? No, I don't. How tall are you? I'm five feet, four inches tall. How much do you weigh? I am 128 pounds. Is your mother or father a U.S. citizen? No, they are not U.S. citizens. Your parents live in the United States or Canada? They live in Canada. Where do you currently live? 2634 South Park Street, Salt Lake City, Utah, 84106. How long have you lived at the current address? 
I've lived at the current address for three years. You moved to the current address on December 22, 2020? Yes, I did. Do you live with your spouse at this address? Yes, I live with him and my children. What was your previous address? 2609 North Redway Road, Boise, Idaho, 83704. When did you begin living at that address? I began living at that address on November 2nd, 2020. Anywhere else? That's it. All right. Have you attended any schools in the U.S.? No, I haven't. Are you currently working? Yes, I am. What kind of work did you do? I am a beauty advisor. Where is you employed? I work at Ulta Beauty, Inc. How long have you worked there? About three years. What did you do before? I worked at Walgreens in Idaho before. What did you do there? I worked as a beauty and wellness consultant. Have you worked anywhere else in the last five years? No, I haven't worked anywhere else. Is your spouse currently working? Yes, he is working. What is your spouse's occupation? He is a software engineer. Where does your spouse currently work? He works at Stack Finance. Is your spouse a U.S. citizen? Yes, he is a U.S. citizen. When did your spouse become a U.S. citizen? August 3rd, 2015. All right. How many times have you been married? I've been married two times. Do you have any children from the previous marriage? Yes, I have one child from my previous marriage. Is Lucia Bocher and as a child from your previous marriage? Yes, she is a daughter from my previous marriage. When is her birth date? Her birth date is June 4th, 2014. Does she currently live with you? Yes, she lives with me. Can you show me your divorced paperwork? Yes, here you go. Thank you. When did you remarry? I remarried on October 17th, 2020. How many times has your spouse been married? My husband has been married one time. Your spouse's birthday is June 19th, 1986? Yes, officer. Do you have any children with current husband? 
Yes, I have a son. Please show me his birth certificate. Sure, here you go. All of your children live with you right now? Yes, they all live with me. Do you have any adopted children? No, I don't have any adopted children. All right. How many trips of more than 24 hours have you taken outside the U.S. in the last five years? I've taken two trips outside the U.S. in the last five years, but I forgot to list the first trip on my application. Can you update this for me? Okay. Did you go to Canada on the first trip? Yes, I went to Canada on the first trip. How many days were you outside the U.S. on this trip? Four days. When did you leave the U.S. and when did you return on this trip? I left the U.S. on March 3rd. 2019 and returned to the U.S. on March 7, 2019. Please wait me a second. I will update them now. Thank you. Was the second trip longer than six months? No, the second trip was 20 days. You went to Mexico on vacation? Yes, I went to Mexico on vacation with my family. Have you been outside the U.S. any other times in the last five years? No, I haven't. All right. Have you ever claimed to be a U.S. citizen in writing or any other way? No, officer. Have you ever filed a federal, state, or local tax return since you became a lawful permanent resident? Yes, my husband and I file taxes together every year. Have you ever registered to vote in any federal, state, or local election in the United States? No. Have you ever been declared legally incompetent or been confined to a mental institution? No. What is a mental institution? A place for people with mental problems. Have you ever been associated, either directly or indirectly, with a terrorist organization? No. Were you ever involved in any way with killing or trying to kill someone? No. Have you ever been a member of, either directly or indirectly, the Communist Party? No. Were you ever involved in not letting someone practice his or her religion? No. What is religion? The belief in and worship of a god or gods. Good. Were you ever involved in badly hurting or trying to hurt a person on purpose? No. Did you ever serve in, help, or otherwise participate in a police unit? No. 
Were you ever a worker, volunteer, or soldier in a prison or jail? No. Did you ever sell, give, or help someone get weapons? No, never. Did you ever receive any type of military, paramilitary, or weapons training? No. Have you ever committed, assisted in committing, or attempted to commit a crime or offense for which you were not arrested? No. What does commit mean? To do something wrong or illegal. Have you ever been convicted of a crime or offense? No. Have you ever been placed in an alternative sentencing or a rehabilitative program? No. Have you ever been a prostitute or procured anyone for prostitution? No. What is a prostitute? Someone who has sex with another person for money. Have you ever lied to any U.S. government officials to gain entry or admission into the United States or to gain immigration benefits while in the United States? No. Do you understand what immigration benefit? Things like a visa green card or citizenship. Good. Have you ever married someone in order to obtain an immigration benefit? No. Have you ever sold or smuggled controlled substances, illegal drugs, or narcotics? No. Have you ever given any U.S. government officials any information or documentation that was false, fraudulent, or misleading? No. Do you understand the full oath of allegiance to the United States? Yes, I do. Do you support the Constitution and form of government of the United States? Yes, I do. Have you ever been removed, excluded, or deported from the United States? No. If the law requires it, will you do important work for the United States? Yes. If the law requires it, are you willing to perform non-combatant services in the U.S. Armed Forces? Yes. Are you willing to take the full oath of allegiance to the United States? Yes. Are removal, exclusion, rescission, or deportation proceedings currently pending against you? No. Now, please review the updated application carefully. Make sure everything is correct. If there is anything that needs to be changed, please let me know. Everything is correct. Thank you for updating the information. You're welcome. You see the green button on the screen. 
please touch it and sign at the last page. I need you to sign one more time. This is a full oath of allegiance to the United States. You need to read aloud when you take the ceremony oath. But you don't need to remember these words. You will receive a sheet of paper on the day of your oath ceremony. If you agree with everything in the oath, please sign at the bottom of that page. Good job. I'm pleased to say that you passed your interview. Congratulations. Thank you so much. Finally, I did it. No problem. We will schedule you to take the Oath of Allegiance. You will receive the notice of Oath Ceremony in the mail in the next few weeks. Make sure you arrive at the ceremony and check in with USCIS on the date and time as scheduled. In case you want to reschedule the oath ceremony, please respond to the USCIS as soon as possible after you receive the notice. Do you have any questions? No, thank you. Great. Thank you for joining us today. I'll take you back to the waiting area. Thank you. Have a good day. Thank you for watching. Good luck, everyone.